This is on Drop Rate, a series where I hunt items in old school RuneScape within their stated rates according to the OSRS wiki. If I get the items within the rates, for example up to 10,000 lava dragons for a visage, I get to keep everything I earn during the grind. If I do not receive it, I have to give away half the loot to you guys, the viewers. With that, let's get into today's episode. At this time, basically every single PK has made a video camping this exact spot in the wilderness, which is the entrance to the King Black Dragon's Lair. This time, however, I will be the player running to the cave, risking a couple of million in gear, as in this video, we will be defeating the King Black Dragon until we either get the pet or reach its drop rate of 3000 kills. If I get the pet, that also means I will finish the entire King Black Dragon log as I've managed to get the visage back in my Mithril Dragon video, and we're starting the grind at 138kc. The method I'll be using to get to the KBD lair is very simple, I'm going to be using a burning amulet, protect from item and teleport right to the lava maze at 41 wilderness, which is very close to the lair, but this is the place I can get PK'd at, it is very risky, a lot of people are camping this area, so I will definitely have to be ready, and by the way, the gear, if you didn't catch that in the intro with my risk, is this that I'm going to be using right here on the screen. It is pretty budget, but I am only really risking the Serpentine Helmet, which is only 3 million, so it's not too bad. Not too bad of a kill, I definitely feel like this is a pretty decent setup, you can see I've basically took only 35 damage and I got the kill, and prayer I only needed to use one sip, so could maybe stay here for a decent amount of time. Now this might come as a shock to you, but the King Black Dragon is indeed a dragon, and that means we need fire protection against his breath. The max hit of the dragon's breath is 65, but can be lowered down all the way to 10 damage. This can be done by using three different tools, the dragon fire shield, protect from magic, and an anti-fire potion. If you have all of these active at the same time, you will take a max of 10 damage, but we actually don't need all of that. You only need to have a dragon fire shield and an anti-fire potion active to take 10 damage which allows you a different protection prayer than magic. So I will use protect from melee the entire grind. And I think that is the last kill of the first trip. I would say pretty successful. I wasn't really sure how many kills I would be able to do per trip, but this is how many I did. 13 kills and with the home teleport and how I recently upgraded my house, this grind is going to be so nice with the rejuvenation pool. I was just gonna have a look at what combat achievements there are for this boss that I haven't done yet, if any, but look at the chat. I think they just reworked combat achievements to kind of work like the league's point system, and I have not completed full easy, medium, or hard tier at all, but I have all of them unlocked now just because collectively I've collected enough points. Now, why is this especially relevant to this specific video? Well, the hard combat tier does actually have the reward of you being able to use KBD heads, which I do have in my bank already, to recolor the Dragon Hunter crossbow, and I've now claimed all the rewards, which, by the way, I'm going to be using all on agility, because I really do not like that skill, I don't think anyone does. Now, I do prefer melee at KBD, so I'm not going to be using this for the actual boss grind itself, but I just thought this was a pretty cool thing, and kind of on theme, so let's add the KBD heads to the crossbow, and that is now a dark-colored Dragon Hunter crossbow, which I think looks really good. Besides that though, it seems like all combat achievements are done for the boss already, so it's just the KC and the pet we need. Oh, we get another pair of KBD heads. I will show you guys what I'm going to be doing with all of these at the end of the grind. We will probably have a lot of them. I was waiting for this drop, the Dragon Medhelm. This was one of the few reliable ways back in the days when this boss was actually released to get the Dragon Medhelm. It's one in 128 drop rates, so not that rare and very cool to see. After this one, we are coming up on 100kc on KBD, and the money from this is actually better than I expected. I, it seems like I'm definitely profiting. We have made around 18k every single kill, and that is of course without getting any of the rares. Yo, uh, the first elite of the grind. These are actually kind of rare, one in 450. Of course, as always, I'll complete them, and at the end of the grind, I'll open all of them. And that is the first one completed out of hopefully many. Bro, <laughs> this guy is trying to actually die and go to Lumbridge, but the boss just keeps attacking me all the time. It's done it like seven hits in a row now. Dude, he can't get a... Okay, there we go. That took so long for him. That was so unfortunate. 
No shot, dude. The first more rare item of the grind, which is on the rare drop table. That's like 1 in 1000. I have been doing some counting, as I usually do on these longer grinds, to see how long they are roughly going to be taking. And I've now done 300 KC, and it's been 6 hours. That means I'm getting around 50 kills an hour, and that seems to be consistent, if I keep my focus up at all times. So yes, this is probably going to be roughly a 60 hour grind. Oh my god, I am so dumb. I've been keeping track so well of PKers. For some reason, I just zoned out this time. I am so dead at this point. Okay, the dude has d class he has TB, he has everything. I think I'm fairly tanky at least with this gear. If I unequip Proselyte when he's trying to root me, maybe I can escape, but seems highly unlikely. So you can see on the teleblock I've been tanking for roughly 3 minutes, but we only have one Manta Ray left, and I think my only chance of maybe escaping is if I can get into this dungeon right here. Okay, yeah. I'm dead, there is no way. A uh, good fight, that was uh, my mistake for sure for just not keeping track of it, and I lost like 3 million GP. From now on, every single time I'm running here, I am keeping my logout button ready, so if I see any name on the minimap, I'm logging out. I guess we're coming up on the first bigger milestone of the grind, which is 500 KC done, and the only notable drops I guess at this point is the Elite Clue Scroll and 4 KBD heads, and as I said, I have something for this at the end of the video. Oh wait, you have to charge the Serpentine Helmet with- so I forgot. You have to charge the helmet with Solra Scales, and it just uncharged. Well, I guess we're getting poisoned. Very quickly after that, we recharge the helmet, we're back, and we get second Elite Clue Scroll of the Grind. Very nice. Lately in this series, I have been very spooned, I've been getting everything very quickly, but it seems like this is not going to be the case for the King Black Dragon at least, and I'm pretty happy to see that honestly. The loot here is great, and that is now 1000 KC done on the boss with no pet just yet. It's been 20 hours of grinding this boss, and I'm still enjoying it. Oh, let's go! The first dragon pickaxe of the grind, 1.7 million. This has, of course, dropped a lot in price since the wilderness update. That's 1 in 1,000, and we actually got it just barely over the drop rate. That's a lot of money. And after that, we mark a monumental moment of this grind, KBD head number 10. For obvious reasons, I'm not showing most of these as I'm getting a lot of them. They're not that rare, so uh, that's just how it is. But number 10 is cool. What? Okay. 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 That is back-to-back -back KBD head, so 11. Oh yeah, of course. I can show you guys the chat so you can actually see that it's back-to-back. -back. There you go. Dragonstone is another 1 in 1000, like the rune square shield that we got earlier, but uh, that is definitely not the first rare I've got on this grind. Here is a picture of most of the rare items from the rare drop table, of course, that I've got during this grind. There is a lot of them, so you definitely see this quite frequently, even though they are 1 in 1000. If there's like 20 of them, it's not actually that rare to see one. We're actually getting really close to the halfway point of the grind, but while banking, I just realized we have barely any extended super anti-fires left, and this got me thinking... How much am I actually spending in supplies? So let's have a look. One single inventory of supplies for one trip is roughly 90,000 GP. And uh, that does not, of course, count the Solra scales that I use for my Serpentine Helmet. And also the Burning Amulet Charge and the House Teleport. But they are very minor. I would say maybe one trip is like 95,000 GP. And with every trip being on average 13 kills, I will have to do 230 trips from the bank, getting supplies to KBD. And all of that would, in the end of 3000 KBD KC, cost me 20.7 million GP. And that is it, we just hit 1.5k, it looks really nice on the loot tracker, some stuff have dropped in price as I took a bit of a break from this boss, but still, we're making decent money. Oh my god, they all have kind of the same name. This has to be one guy just farming this boss with multiple alts. Bro, wait, three of them has pets? That's insane. I've actually looked them up, and the people with pets only have like 500 KC each, so that is really, really lucky for this guy. 
Oh, oh, no way. No way. Yes, dude. Yes, we got the print. Oh my god, this is so nice. Look at that. 1,766 KC overall. Oh my god, that is so cool i love this pet this is like the best pet in the game in my opinion it's so nostalgic where is it even i guess you can't uh, make it spawn inside of your house i guess i have to go outside look at that pet it is so nostalgic good looking and i now have it we are done with the grind that is insane as you might already know, you can see in the chat, you do not need to insure pets anymore. They are automatically insured. And if you go to Probita, it says I have four reclaims, which I think means every time you get a duplicate pet, you get one free reclaim. Otherwise, if I would lose the KBD pet, I would just basically have to pay to get it back. You can't permanently lose them anymore. But let's just go ahead and put it into the nature house in my house and have it roam around with all my other pets. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, that is now a green King Black Dragon collection log, and if I ever want to go for all the boss logs completions, then that's a good one to have done. Now, what are we going to do with all of these KBD heads? I have mentioned that I have a plan for them, and I'm going to keep one of them for a future Slayer Helmet upgrade for the black version of them, because I currently don't have the Slayer points for them. But for now, I'm going to taxidormy one of them, and we're going to be putting this in my house. And that's it, the KBD heads, let's build it, and we get some combat experience for this as well. Let's do attack experience, we get everything, I don't even know why it asked me. But uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. Let me show you something. You can actually separate these heads, and every single head that you do, yes, I want to separate the KBD heads into three dragon heads. Uh, this has to be kind of a new thing, I feel like, but when you do that, you get three ensouled dragon heads. And these give prayer experience. I'm not going to be using them right now because you have to go to the dark altar in uh, Seiya, but each head is 1.5 thousand prayer experience. So it's actually not that bad, and if you just want the money for these, one of these KBD heads, if we price check, if I can just click here, if we price check three of them, that is, uh, there's 7k each, that's actually a lot, so every KBD head is 23k value. And that's the last one, so let's have a look at how much money we made from just the KBD heads in this video. We made an additional 300k. But let's finish off the video with the four elite caskets that we got during the grind, and of course I had to bring out my Prince Black Dragon, maybe this will bring me luck, so let's go ahead and open them. First one is mediocre, no master clue scroll. Second one, even worse, no master, I mean. Oh, big pirate hat, 175k, and a master clue scroll. You know what, I only have one left, so I'm just going to open it now and do the master afterwards. And the last one is 103k. Yo, look at this hat. This is top tier fashionscape. Actually fits really well with my pet. And we could complete the master, so let's see what this one is going to give us. It would be very nice to get a mimic, actually it's been a while since the last one, but that is not the case this time. Pretty good though. But that is going to do it for this episode number 50 of the On Drop Rate series. I can't believe we made this many videos. By the way, I'm getting close to also 50,000 subscribers, so if you want to help me reach that, make sure you subscribe and to be updated with my future episodes as well. But until next time guys, take care.